minute and talk about something else that's very important our health most of us are familiar with types of diabetes type 1 usually affects younger people and type 2 affects older people and people who are often overweight well now researchers are looking into a new type potentially related to keeping your memory sharp in this month speaking of health news 19 medical correspondent Rosemary belt is talking to us about why keeping an eye on your blood sugar should not be your only focus Got another thank you, Jesus, in my soul. Yes, Lord, in my soul. You did good. Yes. I love to sing that song, Them too. God has really been good to this yes, child man. here. It has been a good day for Ola Ray Harley, but one she may not remember. Harley is 81 and has dementia. Yeah, can we talk about current events? Because we want to make sure we stay abreast of what's going on. I don't know who that is. And she's not alone. Over 50 million people worldwide have dementia, making it a medical problem that's more perplexing every day. I think just like any other part of the body, the normal memory changes uh, just occur through normal brain aging and wear and tear, just like for arthritis or back problems. Dr. Donald Schmeckel, a neurologist with Lexington Medical Center, explains the number one risk factor is age. The most fragile part of the brain is the one that's most reactive, which is the memory portion. The recent memory system of your scratch pad of memory and what happened yesterday and those can be affected by recent memory problems. Even though dementia mostly affects older adults, doctors say it's not part of normal aging. Risk factors for developing dementia include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, sleep problems, even smoking. They damage blood vessels, reduce circulation, and deprive your brain of vital oxygen and nutrients. There are many different forms of dementia. Alzheimer's disease is the most common. Being overweight and type 2 diabetes can increase the risk of developing Alzheimer's. But now, researchers are studying another form of diabetes associated with Alzheimer's disease called, unofficially, type 3 diabetes. It occurs when neurons in the brain become unable to respond to insulin, essential for basic tasks including memory and learning. Doctors believe the culprit is a mix of lifestyle and a variant of the Alzheimer's gene known as APOE4, found in about 20% of the general population and more than half of Alzheimer's cases. Well, the biggest risk factor is probably diet. The Alzheimer risk is a diet-modulated gene that actually is a good gene. It's the Adam and Eve gene. And on a traditional, biblical, classic diet, doesn't cause Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. On the co common American diet, which we all struggle with, um, then it became a risk factor. So it was a good gene gone bad in the modern industrial diet. This combination interferes with the brain's cell's ability to use insulin, which may eventually cause the cells to starve and die. Well, the I'll make it cells. simple. If you've ever had exactly. a kid who gets candy and gets jazzed up, Sometimes a glucose surge will be bad for you. So brain cells sort of re are in a resting state. Fire up to read something or do something, then they'll do it. But they're not supposed to be zzz like that all the time. So glucose alterations can have a cell be more active or in a metabolic frame that it's not suited for. Okay. Like taking a very high-end race car and giving it bad gas or something. It's a yes. mismatch, the mismatch of what the cell is up to and needs to do versus its energy supply. Some researchers believe diet-induced diabetes is the reason a person has trouble remembering or concentrating. This brain damage and memory loss does not happen overnight. It begins when you're younger and takes decades to develop and worsen. Take-home message for your viewers is type 3 diabetes to me evokes the fact that diet is huge for the prevention of dementia. There is no treatment currently available to cure dementia or alter its course. Knowing this, could change the way doctors treat dementia patients. Because my own personal feeling is you don't look at just the brain, you have to look at the family and the environment, but you also have to look at the body metabolism. So the final solution to Alzheimer's and the related dementias is going to be several different things. Even though the brain may not remember? Me and her might have a little fuss every once in a while, but I love her. Because you don't listen. I love her. Because you don't listen. <laughs> I love her. You don't listen. I love this child. You don't listen. The heart will never forget. I'm talking, what I'm saying, I mean what I'm saying. That's right. It's the, the things I want to say. I love my family. That's right. In Columbia, Rosemary Belts, News 19, WLTX.
Wonderful right. getting to hear their story, yeah. and you got to think about a diet. And I've never heard of the biblical diet, right. but yeah. I guess we should eat like Jesus did, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Keisha and her mom. Lots of you here uh, who've been to WLTX or even called WLTX know Miss Keisha. So we love Miss Keisha yeah. and her mama. All